I didn't really start getting into photography until I got a hold of a wide lux camera. There was a certain kind of blurred motion in it, and it was sharp and blurry all at the same time. And this wonderful frame that sort of reminded me of the frame of movies that I was making. It's sort of the missing link between still photography and motion picture photography because of that lens that actually moves. It's basically the lens that pans and behind that lens is a slit that wipes across the, the negative and exposes the film. There's no focus, it's just depth of field. I usually try to shoot with pretty fast film. I use the 3200 film. Sometimes I'll push it to 6400. Another great thing about the wide lux is that you can hand hold it 15th of a second. It's very forgiving that way. A 15th of a second, the shutter goes about this uh, fast. The other thing I love particularly with film is getting that proof sheet back. You never know what you're gonna get. And it is most often a surprise. You get a little bit more than you expect. That's about the only camera I use. <laughs> My wide lux. I must have over a hundred photographs of different actors doing the two faces. We'd have a couple of rehearsals, you know, I say, you know, a frown like a you know, like a sad clown. When I sense it's about halfway, I say shift, and he shifts his expression, and it looks like they're looking at each other. I've got a picture of my dear friend T-Bone Burnett looking into his own mouth. He's just looking like this. But you can have a lot of fun with that. I primarily take photographs while I'm working. It's almost an extension of my body at this point. Other cameras don't really get that intimate perspective of what it's like being right in the center of the cyclone there. In 1984, on Starman, Karen Allen, who was in the film with me, she suggested that we put a book together, and people seemed to dig that. It was good to make somebody feel good, and I enjoyed it as well. I've sort of made it a bit of a tradition at the end of each film and give that as a gift to the cast and crew of the movie. I mean, I've been doing that, well, since Starman, so what is that, uh, you know, 84, 94, 2004? Wow, that's, you know, almost uh, you know, 30 years now, I guess. When I look through those books, it puts me right back into very personal experience of making the film. My dad, he was my teacher, taught me all the basics of acting. If you were a Sea Hunt fan, the TV show he made in the 60s, and you saw a little you know, eight-year-old kid, chances are it was probably me. I didn't what? Kelly, if you've got something to say, now say it. They didn't get all the diamond out. There's still some there. Where? And I got to work with him a couple of times as an adult. One of my favorite photographs was when we were making Tucker with Francis Coppola. Or when he was in Blown Away, we got to act together in that. Took a picture of him with all these arrows stuck in him. He was so terrific in that movie. He was great to work with. And probably the thing I learned from him uh, the most was uh, the joy uh, that he approached the work with. He dug it so much, and, and that was kind of uh, contagious whenever he came on the set. On The Big Lebowski, when I thought, oh, you know, we're gonna do the dude's a dream scene. I'm gonna come dancing down the stairs, and I'll be a good one to invite my wife and my kids to come and see. So they come on the set, and then I realize that one of the scenes that I'm gonna have to shoot that day is sailing beneath the legs of these women, looking up at their coochie, or whatever you wanna call it, their vaginas. Uh, I'm <laughs> so I said, why, why did I invite my family to this particular day? 
they were called the bowling pin Karens, and I go up to the first bowling pin Karen and I say, you know, photo opportunity, do you mind if I take a shot? You know, she says, oh, by all means, dude. Get on my little skateboard with a rope that's gonna pull me down there. And I look up and I see that this woman really needs a shave. I mean, she's got tufts of pubic hair coming out of her leotard like nobody's business. And I go, my God, and I snap the shot as I go through. And I see the next girl, she's got even more hair. One after another has more and more pubic hair piling out of the thing. And they pulled a fast one on the dude. They all went to the makeup man and got crepe hair and shoved that in there. That's one of my favorite photographs. I like to think that these photographs are kind of paying homage to the whole process of making movies. A few years ago, I put out a book that was a compilation of all of the smaller books that I had made that would be available to the public. The proceeds go to the Motion Picture and Television Fund. You know, I feel that's uh, my opportunity to kind of give back to the, um, you know, the industry that has given me so much. It feels uh, wonderful to get um, get acknowledged for uh, you know the work you do. Uh, by people who love photography. It's a, a wonderful feeling.